Hey, it's Mike from Brew-Dews.com. Tonight we're brewing my, my first session of 2014. What are we making tonight? Well, I just took a wart sample. Tonight we're making dry Irish stout. Doesn't look like stout wart, does it? That's because tonight I'm going to try a new technique called top mashing. So I've already mashed in my mash tun all my base malt, my flaked barley, and I got this beautiful golden malt. Then I'm going to take my roasted barley, which I crushed really fine, almost like uh, instant coffee. I'm going to put that on top of the mash for the last 20 minutes of the mash. As the mash recirculates, I'll extract color and flavor from that. Why do top mashing? Because top mashing with your dark roasted grains uh, eliminates the need to worry about most of your uh, water chemistry or more importantly your mash chemistry, your, your mash pH. If you know you normally have good pH with your base grains in the mash, by adding things like your crystal malt and your roasted barley, in a top mashing mode, you can achieve most of your conversion at the pH you want and then have a less worry about a, a, a drop in pH when you add the roasted grains. So let's take a look at, I'm going to add those uh, crushed grains for the top mash and then we'll collect a new wort sample at the end and compare the two. Alright, we're looking in the mash tun. I know it's hard to see the color but there's that golden wort, just pale malt, uh, Maris Otter and uh, flaked barley. That's the base for my dry Irish stout. And over here, here's uh, one pound of crushed, it, crushed roasted barley. You can see I've crushed that really fine. I mean, it's not a powder. It really is more like um, instant coffee. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle this on top of the mash and let the action of my pump recirculate uh, the, the mash, the wart, through the, the roasted grains on the top and hopefully we'll get a good uh, dark color sample to compare at the end. So here we go. gonna adjust my sparge return ring here. And I'll give that another 20 minutes. That already smells like uh, pretty roasty. So can't wait to see how this works out. This is my first time trying it. All right, it's been about uh, 30 minutes of recirculating uh, the wart through the pump and back to the top. This is the, uh, the base that we had, the golden base, just uh, pale malt and flaked barley. And you ready for this? Here we go, that's, that's our dark, dry stout wort. Just one pound of roasted barley crushed really fine, then recirculated for 30 minutes. Look at the difference between those. So this is ready to go. I'll sparge this and get it in the kettle, um, and then uh, get back to brewing. So. But what do we do with this hot wort that we've got kicking around? Well, we could throw it back in the mash tun, or uh, on a cold night like this, we could do something else. And I'll show you. We can take a little play from uh, Ray Daniels' uh, bag of tricks, uh, the guy who wrote Designing uh, Great Beers, and uh, make what's called a hot scotchy. So take a little bit of uh, my favorite scotch, some hot wort, Cheers. Oh, that's good. Well, uh, from Mike at brew-dews.com, it's time for me to uh, finish this session and get that wort in the kettle and start boiling. So, cheers and brew on.